Hi everybody, coal miner's granddaughter here with a long overdue blog post. I know, it's been a while. Let's just say that motherhood takes a lot of time and energy. So I apologize for not keeping you guys updated. Hopefully once all three kids are in full days of school this August, I will have plenty of time to update my blog as well as get around to reading everyone else's. I've been around, I've just been a little bit quiet and in the corners observing. It's just been crazy. I've also been trying to plan a big investigation for my paranormal group, and once that's under the bag, I should be breathing easier as well. But I wanted to update you guys on something major. I'm not big about telling people my health problems. I think it's because my father had so many health problems, and that's all he ever talked about. And God rest his soul, I love him to this day, but his health was the main topic of any conversation you had with him, and I think that tends to make me shy away from talking about my health because that's all I did for most of my life with my dad. At any rate, about two and a half months ago, I banged this side of my head on a shelf, right on my temple. I had this fabulous bruise right in here. It was awesome. And as I was sitting in my gigantic purple chair in my living room, yes, I have a purple chair, I was rubbing this side of my head, and oh, it's sore, it hurts, and then I put my hand up to naturally rub the other side and felt this big bump. Okay. Weird. Two days later, I went to go get my hair cut. I've blogged about Wayne before, you know. I go to him mainly for the gossip in Gainesville and, you know, the camaraderie. So he's washing my hair, and he's scrubbing, and he's, you know, doing this thing, and he goes, oh my God, Heather, what is that on the side of your head? So the fact that he felt it too raised some eyebrows. So the next week I went to my general practitioner who pushed on it and felt it and said, you know, it's nothing vascular and it's nothing malignant, but it's something. It's probably just a, an enlarged lymph node. Just give it a month to go down. And if it doesn't go down, you might want to call one of these surgeons. So a month later, it hadn't gone down called a surgeon, and the surgeon said, where is it? And I said, on my face. And they said, oh, no, sweetie. We don't mess with faces. You got to call a plastic surgeon. So there I sat in an office with, I kid you not, a basket full of breast implants. This man had a basket full. I'm thinking, do you give them out as paperweights? Are they parting gifts? Are they take one home for a test drive, stuff it in your bra, see how it feels? I was, I just didn't know. <laughs> It was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. It was quite the conversation piece, and all I wanted to do was tuck it under my arm and take it home and just have it sitting in my living room, because that was awesome. So anyway, I walk into the guy's office, and I'm like, you know, I'm not here for lipo, I'm not here for boob job, but I got this bump. So he felt around, and he said, you know, the fact that it's the size of a lima bean in two short months, that's kind of worrisome. Let's cut that sucker out. So, day before yesterday, by the time you see this, day before yesterday, for me, as I'm filming this, it happened yesterday. I had surgery. 11 stitches, can you see it? I'm right up next to the camera, right above my finger, right there. Nice big long slice to my head. 11 stitches later, and a procedure that should have taken 30 minutes that actually took an hour, because the damn thing was deeper than he thought. The bump is gone. Now I'm just swollen. And it hurts to eat. The jaw. So anyway, I'm fine. I'm actually not on any pain medication, <laughs> if you can believe that. Um, it's just a little bit worrisome because, you know, he came, went into my mother and said, well, we don't know what it is, but we're sending it off to pathology and we'll know in a week and a half. Well, okay, he didn't seem worried, so I'm not going to be worried. But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that, yes, you know the saying, I need blank like I need a hole in my head? Well, guess what, guys? I got a hole in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so coal miner's granddaughter signing off i love you guys i'll keep you updated about what the bump was i personally am hoping it was a pod person or you know like my siamese twin something that would have been cool anyway talk to y'all later bye